Alrighty, so t today what we are going to do is we are going to test out the DeWalt shear cutter attachment that you could use on impact drivers and drills. Now one thing I am going to do is I am going to get a half inch to a quarter inch hex adapter for impact wrenches. So we're going to test this out on that as well. But for now, we're just going to unbox this, test this out and see what this could actually do and see if other brands could actually use this as well instead of just DeWalt. Now, I do have a 26-gauge uh, piece of metal. Now, this is rated between 18 to 24. I guess this is model number DWASHRIR. And, yes, this is 60 bucks. Uh, so that's actually not that bad for an attachment. It's actually pretty heavy for what it is. But we'll see how, we'll see how this performs. All right, good. We, it looks like we have some specs on the back. And that is that. All right, so yes, that is the model number DWASHRIR, 18 gauge shear, uh, shear attachment. Uh, attachment has shown. Let's adjust that right now. Let's see. Let's see if that goes even further. So increase the plus. Oh no, that's tension. Alrighty, so you adjust it, you can adjust it like that and adjust it like this to clamp down on whatever. It does have two spring rods right here. Those do not go in any holes. That just goes against the, uh, the base of the tool. So alrighty, let's see, uh, let's fly it out and see if this will fit on a Milwaukee. Battery on. We got that. Should be pushing. I will probably have to put the battery in after the fact. There we go, there we go. Tighten that up. Then tighten that up. Put the battery in, which it does. Wow, that's fast. And there you go. And you still could adjust the speed settings that's uh this is a screw speed one speed two and speed three very good and there you go there you go all right let's give this a test really quick and remember when you work wear gloves and safety glasses i'm hoping my, my mic is working perfectly right now it's got them right here. All right, so like I said, this is 26 gauge, 26 gauge uh, uh, sheet metal. Let's see what this can do. All right, so ready, go. Wow. It cuts it like nothing. For this, you might need a uh, a smaller battery just so you could, it's not messing with the space for the sheet metal. If I were right here. Yeah, the uh, those might be too big to work with what, the space you got. Wow, that cuts it like nothing. There you go. That seriously cuts it like nothing. Right, let's uh, do it fast. Wow, look at that. 
No problem whatsoever. That's actually pretty, pretty impressive. And it's only an attachment. All right, let's put this on a drill. Let's see what a drill can do. There we go. Wow. All right, we're gonna do speed two. We gotta put this on drill. Let's see how well this does. Yeah, still cuts it like nothing. That's pretty awesome. And like I said, once I get an impact wrench, we're gonna test uh, an impact wrench adapter for a quarter inch a hex for a half inch. We're gonna see how well that does on an impact wrench. That's seriously amazing. So I recommend that no matter what brand you like, you should get this 100%. You should go buy this now if you need a simple way to, uh, to cut metal with, uh, with shear cutters, you're good to go then. You know, like just uh, like you could have a specific tool or uh, designated for that uh so that that's dude it actually looks awesome as well so yeah but there you go uh we tested it out on the milwaukee fuel impact uh, driver it, it works it's you're able to put it on there pretty much what all you need is a thick base like this that is deep and we will be doing we will be doing a different gauge uh, test as well. Does it, we are, I want to put this through the, search, the stress test to see what gauge it needs to actually fail. If, if I break it, I break it, oh well. But we are going to put this through the test even more in the future. So yeah. So that's pretty much it. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.